What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before I start this video, I just want to welcome all the new subscribers. Gained quite a few subscribers over the past few days, past week I'd say. I hope you enjoyed the last video, it's done quite well, so thank you for all the support. Before I start, if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to click the subscribe button down below and it'll help a lot. So today's video is going to be a tips on how to backpack on a budget. I know a lot of people want to know how to do this, so these are going to be my tips on how to do it. Now this is one of the easiest ways to keep it on a budget. All you have to do is just research where you can get cheaper accommodation. It's one of the biggest costs of the backpacking. Just do your research and find cheaper accommodation. If you can, you can do trial wild camping, which is pretty much just camping on the side of the road or in the mountains or wherever you end up riding to. A lot of people overthink what they need. Think that they need every little accessory. You really don't. You just need the basics, like a knife, a fork, a plate. I don't need one of those. It's only one person, unless you are with more people. But if you are with more people, they must bring their own. So just take what is necessary. You don't need to have the most expensive tent and sleeping bag. As long as it keeps you dry, as long as it keeps you warm, that's pretty much all you need. The more side tippers. If you've got a sleeping bag that only goes to a certain temperature, Try to get a sleeping bag liner. Depending on what liner you have, just change the temperature that your sleeping bag can go to. Keep it a lot warmer in colder temperatures. You don't need expensive bags either. Your bags are pretty much there just to carry your stuff. As long as it keeps your stuff dry and keeps everything together, then that's all you pretty much need. You know, it doesn't even have to be waterproof. All you have to do is just get dry bags or even what I did, I ended up getting a black bag uh, that you'd usually put in the bin. Put that around my sleeping bag, kept everything dry, kept everything perfect. So if you're staying in a campsite, talk to the people around you. You can share your experiences with them. You can share your food. I know this might seem a bit odd as if you're using other people, but you get to spend your time with other people. You get to share their memories, which to me is so important. You're also able to help each other out in any way possible. You don't need to eat like a king or queen. You just need something that's gonna keep you nourished, get you through the next day. As long as you're full, that's all that really matters. Now in South Africa, lots of people think that dehydrated food is the best way to go. Yes, it is nice and might taste a little bit better than other food, but from my experience, it's very, very expensive. You're better off just getting basic food and just putting something together. It's a lot cheaper and you can do it exactly how you like. It's not, you're not stuck to exactly how this dehydrated meal is. It's not exactly a budget tip, but it's a tip that I learned the hard way. Make sure you have enough water. It is so important. Now what happened to me, if you saw my last video on the last day, I ended up running out of water. Not a good idea to run out of water. I know I did not have that much control over it, but it was 43 degrees and I ran out of water and I was stuck in the middle of absolutely nowhere with no way of getting any other water. I could have got from a river, but I'm not sure how clean those rivers are. And I didn't have any like water filters or anything around. So I was a bit stuck. Funny story is I actually ended up stopping someone that was driving in the direction towards me. Uh, after they had any water, they didn't have any water. So they ended up giving me a non-alcoholic beer, which uh, it sounds a bit funny considering I don't really drink and I'm doing a form of exercise, but I mean, it worked. Uh, it got me going. I did feel a bit bloated after drinking, uh, drinking and downing a beer. I wouldn't recommend that, but I mean, worst case scenario, you can always do that. Flag someone down and the guests take a beer. Now this next tip, it pretty much goes into my last tip. Pick a campsite where there's a tap nearby. If you saw my last video as well, you would have seen that uh, one of the major things that I was looking for when I was looking for a campsite is I was looking for a tap. This was the biggest blessing finding a tap. It made my life so much easier. If there are no taps around, maybe try to find like a spring or a clean water source. Or if you have a water filter, then just any form of water source. Prefer preferably running water, it's a little bit cleaner. But that would be another very good tip. With regards to equipment, maybe even look at secondhand stuff. You'll find a lot of the time people will go and they'll do one trip and they'll spend tons of money on getting all this high quality gear and then they don't use it ever again. So they go and sell it at a ridiculous price on websites such as Gumtree or whatever country you're in. Uh, they'll have their own specific websites for secondhand stuff. 
could even look, look on uh, Facebook Marketplace. There you can find a really, really good deals and you can find some really cheap stuff on there. So guys, thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this type of video, just comment down below if you want to see more videos of this type. If you have any ideas, just drop it in the comments below and I'll try to fulfill whatever you want. But thank you so much for all the support. I really do appreciate it. I'll be making more videos soon, whether it's backpacking, fitness, photography. I'll be making one more videos.